put these front tracks on. Happy Monday, happy Monday. Game changing off 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 tensioner. Make sure that that's the right one. Go one on one side. Get this and just slide her in like a Mickey. There's the two of them on it now there. She's tidy. She's tidy off. Comes with that handy extension. Makes fair short work of it. The secret, the secret is, because you'll have some lads saying, oh, it's a pile of shite of yoke, it's a pile of shite of yoke. See, they were using impact drivers. And that means two things. They were breaking the gearing system up inside it and they were fucking eagles. One down. One to go. Oh, you can't be a devil off, 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 Tracks are working out three. She's not digging holes. And any sticks that I do put in a little hole are staying there. Because when you have no tracks on, they're like slipping out from one side to the other and they pop up and hit something. And I, uh, I have no time for that. I have no time for that. Do you know what? It's nippy out there. I am... Um, I got one side done. I'll have to do that tomorrow evening. I'm only a man, like. I'm only a man. I don't know. I think you should be in bed. Should you not be in bed? Mm, should not. I want you to be honest with me. Did Mammy say when she went down with Jane into the room that you would go to bed? Did she give you a timeline? Mm -hmm. Did she give you a time? Mm -hmm. What was the time? Mm, I forget. Will I give you an idea? Because it would it be the same time as every night? Nine o'clock? Would it? Because if I'm not mistaken, every night Mammy says, go brush your teeth and stuff at half eight and be in bed for nine. It's now half nine already. You're not in bed. Try to pull a fast one. <laughs> Morning everyone. Because I have much more flotation, the ground pressure has been reduced on this machine with the addition of the tracks. I can do the dog on it. I can do the absolute fucking dog on it. What? I got to the bottom of the lane there this morning and there it was, Carlo in all its glory. A bird's eye view of the town itself. And I just said, Carlo doesn't get enough credit for where she stands in the world and what she offers it. Not just famous for Sir Ron and Richie Cavan and all those pagan archaeological sites dotted around it. Now it also has the second largest foreskin museum outside Beijing with the largest collection of Jewish foreskin anywhere in the world with big names Harrison Ford, Jack Black, Ben Stiller, Woody Allen and Paula Abdul as well which is weird but the pride of its collection is the foreskin of the boy in the striped pyjamas so that'll tell you where Carlo stands in the world just between me and you if I was to give a negative about Carlo it would be their cuisine of choice they're into their dog down here. Uh, roast dog, grilled dog, boiled dog, barbecue dog, it doesn't matter. It's not uncommon to walk into a restaurant any given day of the week down here and see some Carlo person enjoying roast rack of Labrador with a nice Italian red. Or for a child on a Saturday morning while they're watching their cartoons to be eating you know, boiled shih tzu brain with pig's milk. Now look, they don't go around murdering people's dogs indiscriminately, you know, they die humanely, they old age, grow kill is fine, it's just not my scene, it's just not my scene, but each their own, each their own. But it looks absolutely like baby do you, food. Do you, do you know what that is? It's baby food. Well it's... That's Bruce's baby food. No it's not, it's leftovers from last night's dinner. It's chicken karma. The, the dog shit down in the car and you get her No, that's, that's, that's top class Protestant cooking, it's just the next day... I got my Catholic hands on and yeah, it just turned it into it that's just terrible. No, it's yeah. lovely, that's delicious. No, it burned the fucking mouth off. Do you want a lick of the, of the spark? I want to lick nothing. I know what you'd lick. Stop now. That's bad. <laughs> so I just pulled up to fill with diesel. Easy, easy job. Just, you know, open the lock, stick in the pipe, and then I couldn't find my keys. I was, oh, maybe I left my keys in the car. No, no, the car's locked. And they were gone. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, and if you're driving a John Deere swivel cab, 
and stuff has been just gone missing. I figured it out. It's a, a bad fucking design. Bad, John Deere, bad. Look, there's a big gaping hole in the back of the dash and it's a fallen down there. God knows what else is down there, but it's right down there. Let's have to take apart all this. Bad job, John Deere. Bad fucking job. I just can't believe it. Can't believe it. Well, someone must have uh, just went for lunch in the middle of the design process of the dash and they didn't finish it off. Now, I could be overthinking it. Maybe the designer was there. Oh, this is only a flat surface, so why would anyone put stuff on a flat surface? Like, there, there's no reason anyone would just put stuff on a flat surface. A big hole is totally okay there. Fuck off! Jesus. Fucking bad design, John Deere. Bad, bad, bad design. Fuck's sake. I don't know whether I mentioned this, but it's a bad fucking design. Bad, bad design. If you're ever wondering what it means to be asleep at the wheel during the design phase, that's it. That's that there. That's that big hole there, look. That's bad design. Well, look, it's fixed now. I, now, only because I'm a serious mechanic. But, like, it's a bad design. And even if you want to look at it as a minor inconvenience, it's a health and safety issue. Just say I'm some young buck in the prime of my life, my main fucking years. And then I leave my condoms down on the dash. And then some young one comes up. And as always, you know, they see the fucking machine. You know, she's there. She's 26, 27 years of age. Mad for it. Wants the sex. Can't have unprotected sex. No condoms. There you go. There you go. A lad loses out on sex because of John Deere's bad design. And worst case scenario, someone gets an STD. Or a baby. Unwanted. Fuck's sake. Or, or another health and safety thing. What happens to John Deere if I leave my inhaler there? Now, I don't have asthma, right? I'm in perfect health. A bit fat, but other than that. But what if my inhaler falls down there? Next time I get an asthma attack. <laughs> no inhaler. Do you think while I'm having an asthma attack, I could do all that? Bad design. Bad. Now my hands look like I've been attacked by some kind of rabid animal. Ah, oh, well. Would you live and learn? And, uh, bad design, John Deere. Bad design. I can fucking smell the dog cooking from here. It's fucking rough. <laughs> Greg, pain in his arms. No, oh, pain in my back from carrying you. He's a pain in one of his arms. And I think it's from doing the cow push ups. He lifts up cows at night. No, I threw it off. I'm carrying the cows in the night. Really? That's after going away from that. I'd say it's just this. It's the heat. Yeah. Same job though. It's not all the tools and everything you have, not one of you, the hands away from home. <laughs> I am not going to disagree with you there. Imagine you're on a lorry and you're heading for a load of timber. You need to make the mill. And you get to the wood and the fucking eagle has parked their car there and. Ah, grand, I'll go to I'll take it wide and I'll go to the other side. You can't, because there's another fucking eagle parked there. Now that eagle did. Prime his whole car and try his room like that. No fucking sense. Second side of the lawn. I'm gonna have a fucking wave. Thanks for the fuck. <laughs>